Just missing a pod of orcas, a boat speeds through the waters off Vancouver's Stanley Park. Lots of people were uh, shouting or yelling, hey, these guys should stop, these guys should stop. Antonio Hurtado Cull shot this video and says he still can't believe it. You are supposed to uh, completely turn off your boat and start, uh, I mean, even with the engine off or the engine at idle, and you have to give room to the orcas, right? So it's, uh, it's just not acceptable to not to stop. Elsewhere in the country, whales are having other troubling tangles with people. Six North Atlantic right whales have died recently, and a necropsy performed on one shows it may have collided with a boat. It appears that we may be up for another year of just terrible news. A ship strike is suspected in at least one other right whale death. The risk is that when the blades of that boat run over the backs, it'll slice them up like a razor blade turning at high speed. And it's not just boats themselves hurting Canada's beloved creatures. Tonight, there's another right whale in danger. A male spotted in the Gulf of St. Lawrence entangled in a fishing net. Researchers are waiting for better weather before trying to rescue him. Okay. Transport Canada has once again imposed speed restrictions in the western part of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Ten knots for bigger boats. Experts say rules and regulations can help, but Canadians need to be educated about these critically endangered species before it's too late to save any of them. Anita Bath, CBC News, Vancouver.